Ham Radio. Well, hello everybody and welcome back. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm back with a video on how to add private nodes to your all-star node. I got and actually I checked out one of the comments on one of my videos and someone's asking how to add an extra private node to their all-star node. And you know what? I've shown that I have extra private nodes, but I don't think I've ever instructed how to add them. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's say, for example, like on my Supermon 2 page, I have my public node and two private nodes, 1997 and 1999. 1997 is the private node that I utilize to bridge my TGIF DMR talk group 314-3399 over to my analog all-star node 58176. But I also have private node 1999 that I am reserving right now for a Hamshack Hotline RF link for in the future. So how do we add these extra nodes? Well, that's what we're going to deal with right now. Now, after you have your all-star node initially set up, we are going to use FileZilla, but you are maybe on a Windows machine, so you could utilize WinSCP. It's an SCP FTP client to help you get into your all-star node and easily manipulate files. But we are going to use FileZilla since I'm on my Mac. I just happen to really love this little program. And this is my FileZilla interface. We're going to go with an SFTP SSH file transfer protocol, the local IP address of my all-star node. We're going to change the port from the default 22 to 222, and we're going to log in. The default is root and root, but I think I've already changed this one to password 2024 just for the purposes of this video, but we'll, we'll take a look. I'm going to update that key because this is a first time connecting, and boom. Now this is the actual route, but we're going to go to the route that we're going to deal with by double clicking the two dots and we're going to go to Etsy and we're going to go down to asterisk and then we're going to scroll down to the rpt.conf file. Now as you can see right here, I've already saved that file. I'm going to save it again just for sakes and purposes. But we're going to right click on this rpt.conf file that's on our all-star node and hit view edit. I had one in the cache there. We're going to discard the local and open up a new one. And the little bitty text shows up on the screen. So I'm going to make it bigger so that it's easier to see. So this is the description of the rpt.conf file. And what rpt.conf is, is basically the definitions of your nodes and the controls for the repeater controller factor of the entire node. So this defines what your node does when it comes to controlling either a single radio for a link setup or a both radios for a duplex setup. And this is some important documentation here that kind of describes that. But we're going to scroll down here so that I can show you here in this first stanza where it says in brackets 576332. It says change this to your assigned node number, which we've already done in the initial setup. We didn't do it in this file, we did it somewhere else, but that's not important at this time. I just want you to be aware that this notation says this first node definition. So we want to scroll down to our second node definition. And right here you see where it says end of first node and begin of second node. That's the node 1999. Okay, so we're down here to the beginning of the second node and we need to copy everything for this 1999 node, which is the second node, so that we can paste it in and make some changes to make it the third node. So we're just going to start selecting and start scrolling down. And this will take a little bit because each node is highly defined and it's kind of some, it's quite a bit of information. Okay, and we're going to get right here to where it says end of second node. We're going to right click and copy that. We're going to throw in a couple of spaces, maybe not too many. We're going to right click and paste. Now we know that we're end of the second node, but we're in we're at the end of the second second node. So let's scroll back up here so we can start fixing a few things. Okay, right here you see where it says end of second node, begin of second node, or begin second node. This is the pasted in version, so we're going to change this one to say third. But we're going to change the number I like to use, 1997. And I'll tell you why. The initial nodes that you get are 1998 and 1999, and you end up changing 1998 at the initial setup to the public node number. 
You cannot use the numbers 2000 or larger for a private node because the all-star public nodes start registration at 2000 and go up from there and this would interfere. So you've got to choose a number that's 1999 or lower. So we already had a 1999, so I chose to use 1997. Now you can make it any four digit number after that, maybe even three to two digits, I'm not sure. You've just got to make sure it's lower than 2000. So now what we want to do is start going down through this node here and changing everything it says 1999 to 1997. There's not very many entries to do this, but we just wanna go through here slowly down line for line. Takes a minute, but you only have to do it once and make sure we've got those changes made. Now these entries you see here with the public node number, these will stay the same. All right, now we've made it down here where it says end of second node, and of course we want to change that to read third node. And we want to make sure that we've got one more thing to do here at the bottom of the rpt.comp file. You see these two entries, 576332, that's our public node, and 1999. Well, we've added a node, so we've got to put a line in for it. 1997 space equals space radio at 127.0.0.1 slash 1997 comma none all in upper caps. That's, this lets the rpt.com file know where to go and find that node when it's referred to. Now, just to cover a point, it we when we configured this node initially, we left the all-star port number at the default 4569. But some of you, and I've done it myself, we have more than one node on our home network, so we have to make all those all-star node port numbers unique to each node. So in one instance, I change mine, one of mine, on my home network to 4570. And if you do that, you have to come to the bottom of the rpt.com file to this location and put a colon behind this IP address. Let's just say, for example, we changed it to 4570. You've got to come to the to the back of each local IP address, put a colon, and put in that new non-standard port so that All-Star and your All-Star node will know where to find it. Well, we didn't change this particular one away from the standard port, so you don't have to put that in there because it automatically assumes it's 4569. So we're gonna leave it just like this. And just to make sure that we hit everything, we see our cursor here, our scroll bar rather, is at the bottom of the file. Let's make sure we got all those 1999s in that third node changed to 1997s. So I like to go to edit and find and type in 1999, hit enter, and you see here we have eight instances and right here is three and they're at the very top. So let's go boom, 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 that's three. There's four right there and we're way up high. So that is the correct 1999 because it says begin second node. That's number four. This one's number five. It's, it's where it needs to be. Here's number six under events, number seven and number eight, right where they should be. So we're gonna hit done. We're going to save this rpt.com file, close it, and hit yes to upload it back to the server. Now we still got to change a couple of more files. So let's go back to the root, and we're going to go to SRV, HTTP, and Supermon, and we're going to go to the Allmon file, right click, and view edit. It's not a bad idea to make a backup of this one also. So you see here at the beginning, we have our public node, 576332, and we have 1999, our other private node. But we need to add a private node. So let's just copy all of 1999, put our cursor between the two stanzas, leave a gap on either side, right click, paste. Now we have two 1999. So let's just go up here and change the first one to 1997. Let's go down here to all nodes, type in 1997. Make sure there's a comma between and no spaces. I like to change this LS nodes right here to the, to the main public node, 576332 in this case. And we can save this file. 
close it out and it's going to ask us to upload it back and we're going to so now let's go back one and now let's go to SRV HTTP Superman 2 and then we're going to go once again to user underscore files and we're going to find that almond.ini file there right click view edit I'm going to discard the local because I was messing with this earlier and open a new one from the all-star node make that text bigger this one is a little more defined because it explains that first node in greater detail but we already know what that says and we don't want to change it but we want to come down here to the 1999 node and let's copy it and let's put some space in between it and the first node hit paste now we have two 1999s we're going to change this one to 1997 I only like to have one space between the stanzas so let's even that up and clean it a little bit and we'll come down here to all nodes We'll throw in a 1997, no spaces, commas in between. Take a look at everything else really quick. And we can hit file, save, close it all out. And I believe, and make sure we yeah upload it back into, I think we've done everything we need to do here. So let's disconnect here and let's SSH into our node. And here we are, and we're going to restart the Asterix server. And you know what? Let's just reboot it for all sakes and purposes. I don't think you have to actually reboot the entire node. I think you can get by with just restarting the Asterix server, but you know me, I like to reboot the entire node. Okay, now that our node has rebooted, let's go back here, and we're gonna take everything behind that away and hit our supermon file again and hit all nodes and now you can see there are three nodes in our supermon file so let's go to our supermon 2 take out everything behind supermon 2 hit enter hit all nodes and boom now we have three private nodes in our all-star node and folks it's just that simple you can do the other add-ons and the other tweaks and the other adornments that we put on our private nodes and our public nodes that are in my other videos, but this is a very quick way on how to add private nodes. And as far as I know, you can add as many as you want as long as the numbers are unique and all below 2,000. So take that for what it is, but there it is, adding extra private nodes to your all-star node. And also, everyone, I have an Amazon shop affiliate store you can get there at amazon.com slash shop slash ham radio crusader all together and take a look at all the items that I have in my Amazon store I have a plethora of items that I've chose to put into here from network POC phones to ham radio mobiles GMRS mobiles HTs for GMRS HTs for amateur radio test equipment different poda gear that I'm starting to accumulate and starting to learn different project materials tools of the trade workbench items these really come in handy batteries for poda batteries for anything as far as that goes pi star mmdvm parts and all-star gmrs live node equipment I do get a small commission from for any of these sales made through my affiliate links and all of that helps move this channel forward. So any and all help you could provide, share this with your friends, be greatly appreciated. And you know, since we're here, I could also show you real quick, you see how it says private node 1997, not in database and LS nodes. Uh, I can show you real quick how to customize this little label right here. So we're gonna go back into our node We're going to go to Etsy, we're going to go to asterisk, and we're going to go to, and then into the local file. Then we're going to go to the private nodes.txt file. We're going to right click, edit it, open up our default editor, make that text a little bit bigger. Now you see here where it says 1000, we're going to go to the line under that, hit 1997. Hit the straight up and down bar, type in KD5FMU, 
straight up and down bar again and type in Ham Radio Crusader Private Node 1. Then we're going to hit straight up bar, Henrietta, Oklahoma. Now we can also do that for 1999, KD5 FMU, and just type in whatever we want. And then we're going to hit file, save, close out that file, make sure it loads back up, and there it goes. And we can disconnect here. And let's restart that asterisk server. Let everything reload. We might have to reboot, but let's find out. So let's refresh our Supermon and refresh our Supermon 2. And it looks like we got a reboot. Our All Star node has rebooted. And let's refresh our. Supermon 2 page, and as you can see here, node 1997, KD5FMU, Ham Radio Crusader, private node 1, Henrietta, Oklahoma, and extra node for whatever we want. <laughs> Let's check our Supermon 1, refresh the page, and the exact same thing. Pretty cool stuff. All right, folks, this is Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all.